Hello, beautiful people. Thanks for watching Josh Talks. So glad that you're here today. You know, today we're going to be having an interview with somebody named John Michael Howe. He's 17 years old. He's an amazing musician. And we're going to be talking about fulfillment, having a fulfilled life. So many people have struggles with feeling empty, feeling like their life is pointless. They struggle with drug addiction, uh, pornography addiction, uh, all kinds of different things that they're, they're trying to fill their lives with. But today, talking with John Michael, we're going to have a lot of fun and talk about how you can be fulfilled. John Michael, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. So the first time that I saw you was on Instagram. I think you'd like some one of my posts, or whatever. And I was like, "Who's this guy?" So I went and checked out your stuff. And first, I you were playing John Mayer, and that was impressive because uh, the guitar parts for John Mayer are incredible, and then his voice is incredible. And I was like, "This guy, his <laughs> voice is amazing." And uh, actually, here's a quick clip of the video that I watched that I was like, "Wow." I am driving down. 85 in That's all uh, so, so yeah, so now you've taken this gift and of, of music and, and guitar and all that kind of stuff, and now you are doing something really exciting with it, and it just happened recently. Why don't you go ahead and tell us about that? Well, thanks. Um, actually, on April 7th, I released my first solo EP. It's called Can't Stop Love. I'm actually wearing a Can't Stop Love shirt right now. Oh, uh, merch. I like it. So am I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> it's been in the works for about a year, I think. Actually, uh, around the 25th of April, it'll be about a year that we started working on this project. So, yeah, I'm super excited about uh, how God's using this. and It's finally out for people to hear. It's gotten some great reviews. So, yeah, I'm excited about it. Awesome, awesome. So uh, it said it's Can't Stop Love, right. and they can go on iTunes and, and check that out, and we'll have a link to it in the description so you guys can go buy it, support them. Uh, can they get the shirt too? Where can they get yeah. the shirt? Um, yeah, you should be able to get this shirt uh, at johnmichaelhowell.com. johnmichaelhowell.com. Okay, we'll have a link to that too. Um, so we're going to be talking about having a fulfilling life and and how do we find that? How do we get that? But before we do that, we're going to have a little bit of fun, I hope, uh, if we don't uh, throw up first. But um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's how this, this, this thing is going to go. We're going to have each going to have a guitar because I'm aspiring to be uh, John Michael. And, and I'm going to have a guitar and we're going to cover our, our guitars with with. Uh, uh, what's that called? What are they called? Uh, I don't Trash know. bags. <laughs> Trash bags. We're going to cover them. That way we don't get our stuff all nasty. But we're going to each have 20 seconds to sing a portion of a song. And we are going to have an assistant uh, come and shovel food into our mouths. He's got some whipped That's cream. That's good food. I know. <laughs> I, know. I know. He decided. Uh, so... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna collect my food. Why don't you collect your food? And because uh, I'm I'm hosting and you're the guest, I'll go first. Uh, okay. And then you know. So why don't you go ahead? You can get your sister, and we'll get our stuff all set up. Right. Go. Whoa. <laughs> no, not first. Uh, whoa. No, you love me. My smell can. Marshmallows! It's marshmallow! Is that one never? Oh no! Time's up. You gotta watch, Dom. Oh, that's just peanut butter. Oh, I love them. It's a long time. It's a long time.
How's that combo? <laughs> mm. It's kind of tasting like chili dog. Oh, well. <laughs> that's what I was actually going for. Thank you. You're like a chef. You're like a... <laughs> You know, I'm just... If I ever need a fallback career... <laughs> Four dozen roses, anything for you to notice. They don't work a lot. <laughs> well, they don't know an out of style. Oh, pretty Keep giving it to Keep giving it to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to work with my. I want to be like my God. I want to take a lot out. <laughs> Time. Oh, wow. oh, All right, nice. That was amazing. You know? Well, um, oh. I'm going to clean up and then we'll, uh, we'll finish this interview here. All right, so now that we've eaten, uh, we are talking about living a full life. <laughs> pun intended. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, sure. I, I am hoping that by talking to you, some of our viewers – We'll get some like keys to life that will help them with, uh, I, I believe, depression, uh, being bored with life, fear of the future. Uh, I feel like when we don't live a full life, we start trying to fill it with stuff right. that is harmful to us because we're just trying to get something in there that's going to make us feel like we matter, mm -hmm. that uh, you know they get desperate. And I feel like especially like teens or like millennials, I don't really like that term because I feel like it's, it's like derogatory now. But um, – but, <laughs> Uh, younger people, uh, they struggle with this a lot, and uh, and so they go into harmful stuff. And so, why do you think that young people, this generation in particular, seem to struggle with that so much? Well, like you said, I believe that we're all born with this desire for more. It's on the inside of all of us, and I believe that desire can only be filled by one thing, and that is a relationship with God. But, you know, so many of us go uh, throughout life just trying to fill that desire with anything and everything that life has to offer, offer, whether it's a college degree, maybe an experience you can have, a job, maybe even doing a drug or a relationship. You know, um, those things may make us feel good for a while, but in the end, we all seem to end up in that same place, that same desire for more. Uh, that's because we were never created to live our lives without God. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of crazy that you say that because, like, you see that so often. It's like, um, obviously they're legalizing pot everywhere, and mm -hmm. uh, and now people are like, you know, they're 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 taking it, and I think they feel like, well, now that it's legal, now that's something we can just do. All of a sudden, it, the effect that I want to have is going to have the the needed um, impact on my life. It's going to change the way I feel, or. Um, if I if I get with this person, then it's gonna change me, and and they're gonna they're they're the one I'm looking for, and it just doesn't ever have that effect that they think it's gonna have. Um, yeah. So I guess my question is, how can someone find their purpose or their dream, uh, or like how did you find like your purpose? Because obviously you're doing music and and uh, but not just not just singing, like it has a purpose behind it. Mm -hmm. So what? How did you kind of get to that point? Well, you know, I grew up um, raised with an amazing family who are Christians, who love God, who serve God. We'd travel around the world. We'd go you know, minister. But I remember there was this specific moment in my life that I remember, I think I was maybe like anywhere from seven to nine, kind of in that. Maybe I was eight. Um, that I remember I was sitting uh, in my bed and just, you know, I guess just being so exposed to his presence all the time, I just had this moment of, oh my gosh, God, you're real. You're real in my life, you know. And, you know, I grew up knowing this scripture. It comes from John 10.10, 10, and it talks about how uh, God came to give us life and life to the fullest. And I believe that how we access that is by getting in his presence. And, you know, it says in Psalm 1611, in his presence there's fullness of joy. So I believe that that fullness that we're looking for comes with just spending time with him. Yeah, that's awesome. So, like, <clears throat> when you access God, um, it's, he is he's the one who made us. So, you know, we kind of have this thing where it's like the one who makes the thing knows what it was made for. Right. And, uh, and so once we connect with that, 
then all of a sudden he can start telling us like, hey, this is why I made you. This is why you have the giftings you do and the talents. Like, you know, obviously you're, you're gifted with music and, and, and that kind of thing and growing your hair. And so, um, God, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so God, God's like, here, I'm, I'm going to give this to you. And, and this is how I want you to use it. And you find uh, fulfillment in that. Uh, let me ask you this. How would, what would you say to somebody that they're, they're watching and they're, they're a follower of Jesus. Maybe they're not a follower of Jesus. How would you say, what would be like a first step in going, this is what you need to do to start, uh, finding that fulfillment in God. Well, you know, the Bible talks about whenever we're drawing close to God and whenever we're keeping our focus, our attention on Him, He actually guides our steps into our destiny. It's crazy how God made it that simple that if we just know Him and we just seek Him, everything just automatically lines up in our lives. And that's the beauty of it. But I want to encourage you today, maybe uh, you're a Christian, maybe you haven't been a Christian a long time, maybe you have been a Christian for a long time. I would encourage you, get in the Bible, start reading it, get to know Him, get in His presence. It will change your life. If you don't know Jesus, it's literally as simple as believing in Him and accepting Him into your heart. And you can do that right now. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. And and if you're watching this and you never met Jesus, at the end uh, of this video, we're going to have a link where you can go to and it'll tell you exactly how you can choose Jesus and choose to follow Jesus and start learning uh, how to have fulfillment in your life, now to have that purpose. So, hey, you know, thanks so much for being on the show. Thanks for talking to us about fulfillment and purpose. Uh, I had a ton of fun. and. Uh, so much fun. It wasn't the best tasting uh, experience I've ever had, but it was a fun experience. <laughs> and uh, again, if you guys want to go and purchase the EP, we're going to have a link to it in the description. And uh, if you want to follow him on Instagram, oh, yeah, yeah, go, go get a shirt. Go get a shirt. That's a sick shirt. Uh, if you want to follow him, go to at John Michael Howe uh, on Instagram. That's it, right? John Michael Howe? Yeah. And so we'll have a link to that also. And, uh, and so be sure to follow him. And so, again, thank you for being on the show. Super excited Absolutely. about what God's doing in your life, man. Thank you. All right. That's cool.